Hello everyone. Are you ready for some phonics? I am. Let's go. Okay, so we'll have a look at our flashcards first. We're going to do my turn, your turn. So, my turn, A. Your turn. My turn, Ow. Your turn. I. E. Oi. Or. You. And sometimes, oo. Wah. My turn, you, your turn. Oh, or E. Now I split digraphs A. Your turn, E. I O U and sometimes O Well done. Now for tricky word practice. Okay, I'm going to say a word, see if you can spot it and we'll take it away. So, the first word is could. Can you see it? Well done, there it is. Could. You say it? Could. Right, the next one I want you to spot is people. Can you see it? Well done, those of you that spotted it. You're right. There's people. Next. Oh. Up there at the top, O, oh, just two letters, O, H, O. Okay, now for the next one, Mrs. Here it is in the middle, well done, Mrs. There, their belongings, there it is, let's take it away, there, four left, called is the next one called there it is called call with that ed at the end called okay asked again another word with that ed ending asked i asked if i could have a chocolate biscuit next mister there it is well done and finally, what's our last one? Looked. We looked to see what today's focus would be. Okay, before we look at today's sound, let's see if you can remember the sound that you were learned last time. It was the, the or sound. We're going to start with a your turn. You might want to pause this now and see if you can read all of these words and sort the words that you find looking at the spelling, whether they've got O-R for or, a w for or or the a u for or or you can read along with me before you do your sorting okay i saw a short horse crawl on my lawn he had a long fork and some red sauce he held the fork then caught my eye and smiled he had lots of corn that he dipped in the sauce. Then he ate it all up with his super long fork. It's a bit of a silly story. See if you can spot now then and sort those words, whether they've got O-R, A-W or A-U. Off you go.
Okay, time for a quick check. So hopefully you've popped your sound buttons on as well to help you like I did. And these are the different words I found. If you've written them more than once because you saw them more than once for, uh, for a good practice, then even better. But these are the different words that we found. So we had fork, fork, k or n corn. And then with the A-W grapheme, we had s or saw, k or all, crawl, l or n lawn. And then finally with the A-U, we just had one all on its own, s or s sauce. Well done if you spotted all of those. Now let's have a look at today's sound. Today we're looking at the sound that this letter makes. We're looking at a w. You say it, w. It's a very short sound, very soft, w. But we're also looking at a digraph today. We're looking at the WH digraph, making the w sound. You make that sound, w. Here they are in some words, w, u, d, wood. And then with the WH, we've got w, i, s, p, er. Uh. Listen to the difference between those two words, wood and whisper. Let's go and see what else we can find with the w or the w in it. Okay, I've got my spotter. I'm going to have a look around for objects that might have a w sound in them. Try and work out if it's a w or a wh spelling. Okay, time for your turn first. Go and have a look and see what you can spot in your house and then come back together and I'll show you what I found. How many things did you spot? Okay, now my turn. Come and have a look. Found some wool. Some water. Let's see what else we can find. Hmm. Oh, what's in there? Does anyone know what candles are made from? That's right, wax. Let's see what else we can spot. Have a good look. It's a wall. What else can we see? Weights. Something in the kitchen this time. It's a whisk. Next, wood. Ready to go on the fire. A wheel from a bike. A whale. And then have a look at this one. We've got a white window. Oh, this flies. It's got wings and a wish from the wish box. Have you got any idea which grapheme we use for the w sound in these words? Let's see now if we can read those words. OK, let's have a look at this one. So we've got w, uh, d, wood with the W grapheme. W, I, t, white, white window frame. Then we come down here. We've got the w. Eel, wheel, with the WH, all, wall. Back to WH, we've got a whisk, w, i, s, k. W on its own this time again, w, a, x, wax. The candle is made from wax. Okay, w on its own this time, w, u, l, wool. And then one of our tricky words, beginning with the W on its own, w, water. Water. Tricky word, this one. Weights with a w at the beginning. Did you guess this one? W -i -ng. Wing. And then back outside for window with a w on its own. And for w ale. Whale with a wh. Maybe you found some of these other items, watercolour paints, washing powder, or maybe you saw words with a W or a WH in your house. To practice writing and reading words with W or the WH digraph making W, today we're going to create a pairs game. So first, get some paper and pencils 
and some scissors and cut out lots of pieces of paper but make them, they make them the same size. Just like this. Okay, so now you've got lots of pieces of paper all the same size, you can start writing your words with either the W or the WH digraph, making the W sound. So we're going to go for the word whisper. Let's sound it out first using our robot arms. Ready? Ready. Get them ready. Go. W I S P A Whisper. Let's get ready to write it. Starting with our zigzag W at the beginning. It's a small letter, so don't make it too big. Then we've got one armed robot, the H. Nice and tall, bounce back up and over, then a little flick. A ladder letter, the I. Caterpillar S. Then we've got another one-armed robot because we go down for our P, but it's descending, so it goes underneath the other letters. Then we bounce back up. Then we've got a, uh, so we've got E R, caterpillar E, and then a one-armed robot R to finish it off. Let's do a quick check. E S P A. Uh. You might want to do a little picture on each card to help you remember what it means. Just like this one. Then draw the word again. So you've now got the same word twice. Choose your own words with the W or the WH digraph in them and make pairs of your own cards like this. When you've got lots of pairs, you're ready to play a game. If you find one of the spellings quite hard to remember, maybe you could practice like this, like our pyramid method, or choose a different way. You might want to use colour, but make sure that you can't see through. You don't want it to be too easy. OK, let's go and play. Mix all the cards up and then place them down like this. Then find a partner. Okay, your turn, Matthew. Whoa. And... wheel these don't match put them back okay my turn let's try this one w -i oh i know from the picture w -i -sp -a. whisper okay where was the other whisper was it here w -u -l wall no good right i need to try and remember where they are wheel and hmm. Wheel, it's a match. Well done. And again, okay, let's try this one. All wall. Hmm, wonder if I can find another wall. Whisper. I wonder if I can remember where whisper is. Right, make your cards and keep practicing the W -w and the WH. See you again soon. Bye.